The government has given this family this brick home, but they didn't give them the rights to live on it, the legal title. It wasn't even built for purpose in the sense that the family as it's grown has had to build this whole extra add-on structure. But now that they have their own title, they're gonna be able to build it, expand it, and do it knowing that it's their land and no one can take it away from them. And it's really exciting seeing what that means for people. This is Vale Sloan here, researcher, adventurer, overall man of many talents. Welcome to my show, Upward Globality, where I travel the planet discovering amazing opportunities ordinary people can achieve when they're free to change the world. We're about 15 minutes out of Makualo, Fredaford, which is a township an hour and a half outside Johannesburg. You only need to look outside the window to see that we've gone country and left the big smoke behind. But this is where the magic of Kai Alam happens. For years, local residents were denied the right to own their own properties simply because of the colour of their skin. But thanks to the Kai Alam project, we're going to see how that's been reversed. And today, meet some locals who are going to own the title to their land for the very first time. In 1913, at the stroke of a pen, black people could not own land, could not own property. At the stroke of a pen, black property was nullified and people, black people, were not allowed to purchase, to purchase property whatsoever. Black people became, in this country of their birth, hewers of wood and drawers of water. This is the historical background to the Kailan project. So we go to the private sector and individuals and to say to them, look, we want black people to own the houses that they have been living in for generations, just paying rent only. The consideration is also that we are aware as to significance, economic significance of owning your own property. And you have faith, you have utmost faith in people being able to rise above their own socio-economic challenges. Some people wanted to say that Kai Lum means my house, and we said, no, no, it doesn't mean your house. Your house is the place where you live. This means your home. Well, we've made it to Makualo. We're here with a team of local councillors. We're here with a team of FMF representatives, and we're going to meet some locals who are going to receive the titles to the land that they've been living on for generations. It's a privilege to be able to do this work because uh, it needs to be done, and if we don't do it, we're, our country is going to hit for failure. Why would somebody want a title deed to a shack? The reason they want the title deed is because then they can do something on that piece of ground that is there that nobody can ever take away from them. Now we're going to meet Mrs. Mudlong. She's been renting this house her entire life. <laughs> At the next house, Mrs. Mosolodi gives us a sneak peek inside. And so, now that you're going to build a new house, why didn't you build a new house until now? I was waiting for a title deed before. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. And it's all yours now. You can yeah. build that house. I'm free now. That's great. And I'm happy. <laughs> well, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. 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 No one can come here and say, mm -hmm. tell you this and tell that. You. Yes, you know. It's a beautiful house you've got here. Thank and really, you. thank you for having us inside. You're going to sleep peaceful. Knowing that you left your children where they are safe, yes. No one will chase your children away. How do you feel after that title presentation? What does it mean oh, to you? Sir, I'm so excited. On a women's month, we're just giving a woman a title lead when we close a women's month. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. very much happy. Oh, yeah. More than, more than happy. 
Mrs. Mohalotza has raised three generations of family in this home. Great to meet you. Hello. Thank you, Dad. Title DT Yahao. That's in Lagaji. She doesn't even have words to explain wow. how happy she is. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I think it's just amazing and you can see how much people care about the, the land they live on, understandably, when you see a vegetable garden like this. You've got spinach, you've got onions, you've got everything for a nice, healthy, nutritious meal. But notice there's no irrigation system, there's no homes. They're, they're here, they're watering it themselves, they're going to the effort to make their home feel like home. Lastly, we will meet Mr. Modice, who has never owned a piece of property in his life. Last time when I met Kayalami, I see all the community, they become very happy. Yes. Every time when they do these things. I didn't expect this, but I'm so happy today. Well, I can honestly say that I never expected to be in one living room in Mokwalo, South Africa, let alone seven of them. But wow. What an experience. I mean, to see the way people's faces light up when they're given the title to the homes that they've been living in for years, sometimes generations. You can't help but be impressed. You can't help but be humble. And I gotta tell you, it takes a lot of guts to work as hard as they have against years of injustice to make their home their home. So as a result of our work, I'm hoping that eventually there will be 10 million pieces of land owned by black South Africans which will be worth about one trillion rand, which to give some idea of, of size is about the size of the annual budget of South Africa. This is the amount of wealth already held by black people, but not owned by black people. Mandela had said in his book, The Long Walk to Freedom, a man is not a man until he has a house of his own. Well, that's it from me. I'm Vale Sloan, and this has been Upward Globality South Africa edition. Hit like or subscribe for more top banter and content. See you around like a rissole, and catch you next time. What do you think about Kai Alam? How would you want this project to grow? Will I ever stop asking questions in this voice? Leave your comments below.